Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting video log of what are you laughing at? Remember the last time we talked about the definition of humor and what it looked like in different forms? <laughs> Somehow, again, it seems that my explanation was not clear and even confusing for some viewers. Okay, first of all, category is just a political word for labeling, you racist. Second, if we pay more attention, if you, you pay more attention, you can see it's quite clear and simple, like this humor is humor, that humor is humor, and those humor are humor and humor. There's no really no need to label them. Let's try to respect each other, okay? Because you certainly, you don't want me to call you a man or a woman instead of highly intellectual organic being with sexual reproduction organ, right? Because the thing that is important is what they are, what we are, and what we represent, not what we are called. Hopefully, I, uh, this will be this will explain and clarify things to you and make you more understand about what I said last time. If you're still confused, please feel free to go back to the last video log and I'll put a link in the description area, okay? Now, I know normally I will introduce you a product from my sponsor. However, today we're gonna do things differently because I just got this message from my friend and it's quite urgent and very serious. Bear No Eyes is an international campaign that aims to preserve the habitat of polar bear. Research and study shows that 82.344% of the missing eyes for the most poor was not the direct result of climate change that a lot of people claim to be. Consumerism, however, is the actual cause. And little do we know, we are the accomplices. The truth is, a lot of corporation they want to save money, so they don't produce the ice on their own. Instead, they stow and ship the ice all the way from North Pole and then mold it into this cubicle-sized ice that we all know. And then, then they distribute, distribute to supermarket, hotel, uh, fast food chain, and uh, shops, and even, you know, even our fridge. And ironically, 13.2% of this stolen ice was shifted to the zoo to stimulate the habitat of polar bears. Today, we say no more. Therefore, I would like to invite you to join me hand in hand in this campaign to send out the message above to stop this madness. The content of the message is not important. The important thing is that you need to remember to add study shows and research discovered and also expert says at the beginning of each message. And our primary target are people over 35 years old or people who doesn't check fat before they share the message. So ideally, these will be your parents or their generations. And remember, the more sharing on the internet, the more closer we are getting it, the turning this message into a truth. Bear no eyes. Tell your friends, tell your family, we are just one click away from the truth. Alright, it's long overdue, but finally today we are going to talk about the relationship between society and humor. So here's the thing, one day in the comedy club, one of my fellow comedians, she said on the stage, at least my husband and I have sex more often than Kay Claus and her husband, and we both know how often that is. And out of nowhere, everybody in the audience, they will burst into laughter and they nod as, low, as if they know how often that is. I don't know how often Kate Clausen and her husband have sex, do you? And after a period of research and observation, it turns out the definition of news has changed. One thing we thought about humor is that most humor is sprout from the social context and social norms. Recession, disappearing of rainforest, equality movement, or the conflict between two nations, they happen too often. It's not even news anymore. It's not important. And the important news is the thing that's getting in one city. And the more private, the better. The things that things in the worst news we report on, those are the hidden gems. Those things, those are things I need to get updated. updated. Because 
if your joke is not funny, your comedy sketch is not funny, there's a high chance that it's your because your reference is outdated. So that's why you need to know about these hidden gems. Now, although there are a lot of media that cover these hidden gems, I found just Jared did an amazing job on this part. For example, they told me right away when Henry Gordon and his foster dog were fighting on the dog. And I know about it, and I know the news, and it's amazing because this is thing that is the thing that is important to be reported as news. And all the other time that uh, Sean, uh, Sean Mendes, he was checking his phone outside of his house while quarantine in Miami, and I was wondering where he is, and he, they told me that was so amazing. Other thing you need to remember is that to cast your net far and wide, so therefore you need to also uh, subscribe, subscribe other channel as well. I still remember, I really appreciate when CNN told me that the return of Jello's iconic dress from 2000 Grammys and they should wear an updated one! That is so awesome! I was wondering where, where, where she's gonna wear the same dress again. So next time, if someone told you that Justin Bieber was wearing all gray and cross for Rennie and Aaron, not only will you know what it means, you can also pile it on. Turn this information into comedy sketches right away. Make people laugh. So stay updated people, stay updated. With these hidden gems, with these small news, that is really important. After recording, I'm gonna uh, post some of my, some, some of my favorites as a, his, uh, as a head start for you guys. That's it guys. It concludes today's topic on the relationship between society and humor. Give it a try and let me know how it worked out for you in the comment section. In the next video log, I'm thinking, let's explore the influence of personal preference on humor together. Yeah? Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And remember to think, what were you laughing at?